Hey, what's going on guys? Sean from PlanningFire.com here. Uh, just another episode in the Millionaire Next Door series. In that video, they have a very interesting concept of re realizing income. Uh, it gets mentioned quite a bit and also it's used in a very interesting way in that book. So I just kind of want to give a quick video about realizing income because it's super important and it's a really interesting way to think about uh, this entire process because it's so different than the way most of us think about it. All right, so let's say you have an income. Um, annual salary is $50,000 a year. If someone asks you, hey, uh, what do you make? And you're having that conversation, you're probably gonna say, I make $50,000 a year. Um, so there's 52 weeks in a year and there's 40 working hours in a week on average. So you're working 2,080 hours in a year, uh, giving you an hourly rate of $24.04 an hour. So if you make an hourly rate, perhaps you might tell them, I make $24 an hour. So that's the traditional way that we consider income. $50,000 a year, $24 an hour, whatever you want to call it, that's normally what you'll tell someone. So let's talk about purchasing. The iPhone X made a pretty big splash because it was the first smartphone to breach $1,000, which is a huge amount of money uh, for most people. So this new phone is a $1,000. At your $24 an hour rate, it's going to take you about 41 and a half hours to earn that much money. So an entire week's worth of work would go into buying this phone. It makes sense. Um, but in reality, when it comes down to realizing income, it's actually a lot different. So when you actually are thinking about income as realized income, just because you make $50,000 a year doesn't mean you take home $50,000 a year. And that's a huge difference. So in reality, that same $50,000 a year income gets taxed. There's health insurance, life insurance, all kinds of other things that might be coming out of your paycheck. But for now, let's just say the tax is about 35%, meaning $18,000 worth is being taken and allocated to the government for whatever reason. So now, instead of making $50,000 a year, you actually are realizing $32,000 a year, meaning you're actually making $32,000 a year, which brings the hourly income actually down to $15.63. Uh, $15 so the same iPhone X to purchase that would actually take you almost 64 hours. It's a little over a week and a half's worth of work just dedicated to buying a new phone. And that's why it's interesting to think about things as their cost, but as their cost in, related, in relationship to realized income. Basically, if you have a high consumption lifestyle, meaning you buy a lot, you have a, a lot of fancy toys you like to play with, you go out to eat a lot, whatever it may be, those dollars that you're spending there are post-tax. You have to actually realize that income before you go and spend it. So in reality, a phone or a $50 dinner or what have you actually has a much higher cost than perhaps you may be thinking about. And that was one thing that I took away from that. I found that very interesting. Um, the whole goal of building wealth and becoming rich really is to throw money into investments, leverage tax advantage accounts, and do everything you can to bring that, that number you need to realize down. If you can leverage pre-taxable income, fantastic. That's definitely the best way to do it. But what you don't want to be doing is forcing yourself to have to realize all of this income so that way you can spend it to maintain your lifestyle. I thought it was a very good point. I just wanted to bring it up here because it's interesting. We will do a full um, part two follow-up coming shortly, but I just wanted to get that out there. Hope everyone had a great week. I'll talk to you soon.